welcome back to my channel please this drawing this is not drawn to scale this is a freehand sketch now these circles are supposed to be unit circles that means each of them the radius of each of them is one unit okay now the question say we should find the length of the band the band that they used to tie three of them together okay now this looks impossible but it is very possible to find first of all why did they use unit circle and why do we have tangents because when you look at this you can see that from here to here is a tangent from here to here is a tangent even though this is not drawn to scale from here to here is a tangent from here to here is a tangent okay there's a reason for that first remember that in a circle of center o okay and if you have a tangent a b remember that a tangent is a straight line that touches a circle at just one point externally okay so if a b is a tangent if because this is a free line sketch a free hand sketch and this is the center of the circle if you draw a straight line from the center to the point of contact between the circle and the tangent let's assume this is the point of contact okay then 90 degrees is formed all right now let us come back to this this straight line is a tangent this straight line is a tangent and this straight line is a tangent so it means that from this center to the point of contact we have 90 degrees from this center to the point of contact we have 90 degrees remember that the radius is one one ish okay now from this center to the point of contact we are going to have another 90 degrees the same thing will happen here we have another 90 degrees okay but that is not the main issue now the main thing here is this how do we even get the area um, the perimeter or the length of this particular band remember that if you look at that particular drawing very well you can see that the band is of two types of lines the first type is these straight lines one two and three so this 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 and this okay and they have to be equal if this is drawn to scan they are equal now let's call each of them x okay and there is another type of line there this one the curves here this curve here and this curve here okay so let's call the curves y so it means that if we get the value of one of these which is x and multiply by three to get three of them plus we also get the value of these curves just one of them should be okay we multiply by three then we add the two together we get the the whole band okay the length of the band so that should be our focus now so let us target getting our x first which are the straight lines now like i said we have 90 degrees and 90 degrees this is one right now remember that this is a a unit circle a unit circle and a unit circle and they touch each other just once once okay now if we complete this line from here to here remember that from here to here is one from here to here is another one so it means that this straight line is two right the same thing we go to this place this straight line is two from here to here is another two so you notice that we have this this is two this is two and this is two okay that means we have an equilateral triangle that is a triangle of equal length now one thing about equilateral triangle is that the angles are also equal remember that the sum of angle in a triangle is 180 degrees so sum of angle in a triangle is 180 degrees okay so if this is equilateral this 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 are equal then we have uh, 180 divided by 3 okay to give us 60 degrees so it means here is 60 degrees here is 60 degrees and here is 60 degrees okay all right so that means we have 60 degrees here and from here to here is 2 and being that this is right angle this is right angle right so this is right angle as well and this is right angle because once this is equal to this what we have here is a rectangle so this place is also two so with this we have formed 
we have found the length of one of the x remember our x right all right now if this is the first time you are seeing us click the subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos okay turn it at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by the grace of god give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video and if you're a returning viewer thank you so much i really appreciate you okay all right so like i said we have found the value of our x so if one length is two so three lengths will be two two that is this plus this plus what this plus this plus this so it should be two plus two plus two which is equal to six units all right now we have found the length let's talk about the curves okay the curves now how do we get that remember that this is 90 this is 90 and this is 90 as well okay same here this is 90 this is 90 but let's just draw out one of these circles okay with the angles involved that will enable us to get our <laughs> very easy right that will enable us to get the curve part of the circumference all right so let's draw this circle out this one so we have this from here to here from here to here then we have this okay now this is 60 this is 90 this is 90 now let's call this y okay or uh, let's call this a a degrees now a degrees is very easy to find because the angle uh, the total angle at the center of a circle is 360 so it means that a plus 90 plus 90 plus 60 is equal to 360 okay so a plus now here we have 90 plus 90 is 180 and 180 plus 60 is 240 so we have 240 is equal to 360. So A, we take this to this side, is equal to 360 minus 240. So our A is equal to 120 degrees. Okay? So our A is 120 degrees. So we have 120 here. Now remember that we are interested in this arc, this part of the circle, not the whole circle. The whole circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. Okay? Yeah. Circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. And the total angle in a circle is 360. So it means that circumference is equal to 2 pi r. Right? So in a circle of angle 360, this time around, this is a circle of, full circle is 360, but the radius is what? 1. So for this particular circle now, the circumference, the circumference is equal to 2 pi times 1. So this is equal to 2 pi, okay, for this unit circle. All right, now you are going to see what we are going to do now. So we have 2 pi is equal to 360 the whole circle right but we have 120 so what should be the length of the 120 degrees so we are going to have 120 over 360 times 2 pi right so this is equal to when this divide itself one if you divide this we have three so we are going to have 2 pi over 3 for 120 degrees okay now remember that we have three of these curves three of them okay so we are going to multiply this by three to get the sum okay for the three of them which we divide to give us two pi all right now that simply means that simply means that the length of the band is what two plus two plus two which is six plus two pi which is what the value of the curve for the three of them all right in units thank you so much for watching see you in my next video